All right, welcome back guys. So today is demolition day one. Uh, I got a few other updates to give to you guys along the way. So first of all, we got our insulation in. I went with a bag of Havelock wool. This is 100% natural, no fiberglass, no rock wool, nothing like that. Can make it irritate the skin. Ugh. It's about $150 or something for just, just a small bag like this. But the good news is, the ambulance is mostly already insulated. So it has this thin sheet of about half inch foam pretty much everywhere that I've seen behind the panels, behind the walls. Um, but I also see a lot of gaps and a lot of cracks. So my plan is really gut this whole thing and then we're gonna leave the insulation that's in there because it's mounted nicely, like custom cut out for most of the panels. We're gonna leave that there and we're just gonna double down and use this to fill in all those little cracks. We'll put a second layer around everything and then probably we'll do a moisture barrier around the whole interior. I'm starting to get things in slowly but surely. I've got my inverter. I've got a bunch of electrical components in the mail on the way here. I think with, uh, with the little introduction here out of the way, we're gonna get into uh, day one of demolition and really starting to pull out some of this, these cabinets and hopefully not rupture the oxygen line and explode. So, here we go. I think I see what's going on back there, which is why the cabinets on this side don't come out as easily and the cabinets on that side. To the best of my understanding, whew, that entire wall is one continuous piece of plywood, front to back, or at least this forward eight feet. Meaning, these upper cabinets are actually attached from the outside to the vertical wall. Whereas over here, they were not. They were, the cabinets were bolted to the top section. But that's not a, but yeah, you unscrewed the bolts from the back and they just popped right off. On this side, there's no bolts on the back, none. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start um, testing out this, uh, this tool with these little rubber eraser discs you can attach to your drill to get rid of some of the vinyl stickers here. Uh, I'd really love to get this thing painted like this weekend, uh, or at least starting on the paint job this weekend, and uh, text information from when it was an ambulance. I'm gonna try to remove those right now. All right, so got this little rubber eraser disc thing. Uh, I guess you can use it up until that line it says stop use line. So let's give it a shot. I think it needs to be this way. Because it doesn't matter, does it? I guess we'll find out. I mean, no more vinyl sticker, not bad. Oh, sticker goes all the way around inside. All right, at this rate, I'll be done in about two years.
it's all blue. So I was just sitting here taking a break and I realized that the back of my ambulance has a face on it and now I can't unsee it and it kind of cracks me up but it's kind of creepy at the same time. <laughs> it's like a clown face. Looks like it, <laughs> Pennywise. Alright, so we haven't touched the cab at all, but this uh, this little blue vinyl strip, so we got it off this entire line, except for the, uh, the cabinets at the back there, so we still need to do that. We also haven't done it along the bottom anywhere, but luckily there's only one line down there. So I got these two lines off all the way up to the cabinet. I got the bottom text sticky stuff off there. On the back side, I got one part of this creepy clown smile. And then on this side back here, I got the two lines off the whole width of the box. And again, not down there and not on the cab. So we've pretty much, oh, and I got that, that uh, medical logo off there and another logo off there. So pretty much with one wheel we've done most of both sides and they're about 10 10 11 bucks each for the solid ones for the cheap ones not the fancy ones i got the cheap ones um yeah not bad what a mess i think that's gonna wrap it up for me for today guys um so today was mostly just getting started on removing those those vinyl stickers in preparation for painting uh, thanks for following along and if you're interested in uh, following the main Earthman Dan channel Just go to YouTube and type Earthman Dan uh, That's gonna be the channel where I'm posting uh, kind of educational and inspirational stories about uh, Science earth wildlife and all things nature uh, If you like that kind of stuff go head on over to that channel get subscribed uh, for free just to help us out Share it with your friends and family and if you want to actually donate become a sponsor for that channel We have a patreon as well just patreon.com slash earthmandan. You can also follow me on Instagram, earthmandan. Thanks for checking us out. See you next one.